You had this dream. We were talking a little bit earlier. You said, you know, you were a, a hobby brewer and now you've turned it into the start of a commercial concern. Well, I always liked to drink beer and uh, one day I found out that it was possible to make beer at home. And I was astounded by th that fact and uh, started to dig deep into the books, into internet forums, started to meet with other people who, people who also liked to make beer at home. And uh, it was initially only a few of us from Banja Luka. And all this started at the end of 2014. I'm living my dream, you know, that, that I started uh, a year ago, maybe. Uh, I sold my apartment, I invested all in this idea and uh, and uh, I am quite happy how it's going right now so far. I st started uh, all grain brewing from the very first batch. I didn't want to go into extracts because it, it's too easy, I think. <laughs> and uh, I improvised with other other pots and barrels used for, uh, for sau sauerkraut, for making sauerkraut here. Uh, these were initial fermenters. And uh, later on I, I uh, uh, turned these freezers into fermentation chambers with controlled uh, temperature environment. So, so it was a lot of in improvis improvisation along the way and I had uh, a lot of help uh, from other guys from all over the country and the countries in uh, near BNH, Croatia and Serbia. We, we went to visit many of their uh, craft breweries, uh, craft beer festivals. These were all occasions when, when I learned something new each time. Uh, yeah, and all of that helped me, uh, you know, become what I am now, you know, a craft brewer <laughs> from Banja Luka. You sold your apartment, um, you invested everything into this. You've got to agree with me that when you, when you talk to, to other people, to most people, there's huge negativity in the country. There's huge jealousy. There's, what is it, the phrase here, people spit on you. There's, there's almost this schadenfreude about, ha, how long will it be before he yeah. fails? Not, ha, how long is it going to be before he's yeah. successful? And this affects people, some in such a profound way. You've been doing this now, and it seems that you don't care about the haters, you don't care about the negativity, but it must have been a bit d difficult at times. Well, that's true, and uh, I always try to surround myself with, with you know, good, normal, positive people who will always tell me if, there, if there's something wrong, okay, tell me, and what would you do to make it right? Don't just, you know, criticize it without, no, of, without offering an idea how to solve it. Yes, there is a lot of negativity in the country and, and you know, people are just too much overwhelmed from the, by the news, by the media, by all the politic, politics and, and all that. And I think that's just a big waste of time and energy and life's too short to be bothered by those, those things. The name of your brewery, your microbrewery, is mm -hmm. Gorstak. I hope I pronounced that right. Mm -hmm. And that means Highlander. Banja Luka lies in the plain between Middle Bosnia, the mountainous region of Bosnia, all the way up um, through Croatia up until the next mountain ranges which border onto Hungary. So a flat uh, part of the Western Balkans. So why did you call it Highlander? Well, there are actually mountains near Banja Luka, mountains of Manjača and Kozara, and this is where my grandfather fathers, uh, came from. So they were, in, uh, you know, true Highlanders, people who were uh, tough, who were honest, to, who, were, who lived in harmony with everybody else around them and sought, <laughs> sought, sought nothing but uh, what they could, could make and create by, by their own, uh, by, the, by themselves, sorry. And uh, it's, this name is a, is a kind of a, a tribute to them and to their lives, lives and to everything I thought from them and uh, I learned from them, sorry. Also, I'm a big nature lover and I like to spend time outdoors uh, in the nature and so on. So Highlander is the, is the right name for, for, <laughs> for a beer uh, made by, you know, by this brewery, so. Finally, um, Nicola, you've taken a massive leap of faith by selling your apartment, by starting this business 
um, and working through the obstacles to get to where you are to try and get to that dream that, that, that you've been dreaming for so many years. If you had to give one piece of advice to anybody listening to this podcast, especially here uh, in Bosnia and Herzegovina that has an idea but their parents are saying, oh, you really need faculty, oh, you should be working for the government, oh, and, oh, and oh, like that, what would that one piece of advice from somebody that's done it, what would that be? Learn everything that you can learn uh, at, in your present situation and uh, you might need it sometimes. And don't be afraid to try new things. Don't uh, stick around just in one little spot, one little place, one little job. Go out, go outside, to talk to different people, go to different envir environments, see how uh, things are going in other areas, in other cities, other countries, other streets. Just w when you think of, a, of an idea and you think it, it, it might be good, don't be afraid to try to realize it. I mean, if you went to a college to become a dentist for 10 years, I don't know, one day you, you might come up with another idea that doesn't have any relation to this dentistry at all. Don't be afraid to, to go in that field, you know, in that area and to try to, to do that. Uh, don't, don't be stuck by your current level of education. You can always learn everything and you can master it if you, are, if you have will to do that. So everything is possible, I believe so.